Hey everyone, I'm James Santiago, and today I'm going to go over some stuff about Eddie Van Halen's tone. Uh, we're going to use a Sparkle Drive mod, along with a couple other things that were sort of staples of his rig. Uh, I'm going to start with my, uh, it's an old Strat that's got a humbucker put into it. It's an Arcane humbucker, and it's got a couple of DiMarzio virtual vintages next to that. That's going into the Marshall, that's running at a bedroom volume, so it's completely clean. So All the stuff we're going to be doing is coming from the pedals. So here's what the amp sounds like. Okay, pedal wise, we're gonna cop some of what Eddie did, which was, you know, running into a phase 90, and then he ran into an Echoplex with one repeat smacked in front of his Marshall. Um, what I'm gonna do is use you know, a phase 90, this is one of the reissue ones. And then that's going into uh, one repeat of this uh, Super Puss. So we're using this like he would have used this Echoplex. And then that is getting slammed in front of the Sparkle Drive mod in its uh, mod number three setting. So let's hear what that sounds like first. So here's mod number three. <laughs> Now that's a completely different sounding than, let's say, mod number one, which is the sort of fat singing lead sound, so let me show you the difference. Nothing like this guy over here. So that actually is most of the sound, but what's going to get us there is distorting these couple of pedals in front of the sparkle drive mod so let's go ahead and add the echo which is one repeat here that and actually the reverb is again after the sparkle drive mod this simulates what they would have done during the recording process which is to add a clean long plate reverb at the end so here's that missing is actually the phase 90 and this is going to pretty much take us there. So now with this, Once you get the phase 90 dialed in, distorted in front of the pedal, it gives you that soft uh, wave that it does. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Again, the trick is distorting these effects either from the amp or in this case you know you can use lead mod number three which has that same voicing for it and then doing a clean reverb post that okay one other thing um i found in later recordings that he was doing he actually was using a little bit of chorus which it seemed to be coming from this uh this roland dc30 rack thing so i started working on that a little bit so it's the same setup but we get rid of the phase 90 and then we uh we move this delay to an even shorter slap like that and then we add this uh, little analog chorus on top of this so this actually he's it's for a tuned little guitars he was tuned up so i'm going to use a capo to give me the same tuning so, a little bit of the chorus with this little. So, as opposed to 
do without it, you know. The chorus actually sounds good distorted, along with that little... 